Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. If you're new here, think about hitting that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that bell for future notifications. Check out the affiliate links when you get a minute, if you choose to. In the meantime, this week's video is focusing on a brand new case. I spent like over $200 in this case. And the USB 3.0 works, but the USB 2.0 does not work. And I'm trying to figure out why. So I'm going to have a look at the case, try and troubleshoot it, see if there's anything that's wrong. Um, and if I can't figure it out, we're going to come up with an alternative to make it work. And I'm going to show you what that is. Nothing fancy, just common sense really. But some people have said, what do I do? It's impossible. I don't want to send the case back. All right. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I did when I was trying to figure out what was going on with the USBs is I started checking all the cables. So I checked all these and one of the things I realized, which I think you can even see, on the far left, you can see it actually says USB. So I thought, hmm, okay, but is something wrong there? Because, I mean, it went into the slot. I'm sure I lined it up. But did I? So, I decided to take that one out and have a look. Uh, it's in there exactly the way it was before, but I want to show you what happened. So when you take it out, first thing you notice is that little empty spot. Do you see the blank spot? So in actual fact, when you look at the slot on here, it's in the wrong place. So basically I had, without realizing it, inverted it. And it should have gone that way. Now, here's the thing. I didn't know that was even possible that you could do that. So if you have USB on your computer and some of them aren't working on your case, you might want to just check that out. Now, simple mistake and an easy mistake and yet I didn't know I'd done it until I tried, of course, to use the USB and realized something's not right. So when I checked each of the other ones, everything else was fine. But because that was plugged in the wrong way, I'm assuming, haven't checked it yet, that's the reason the USB wasn't work. Because it stands to reason when your wires literally are crossed, um, the polarity, everything is different, and it's just not going to work. So... I'm going to plug it back in the correct way and I'm going to try it and make sure does it actually work or do we need to investigate further. So before we do that, the, what I was going to initially do is I didn't realize I had used quite so many USB slots on my motherboard. In fact, I think I've used them all. Typically, you'll have another slot empty, that your USB that you're not using. I was simply going to move it in case, in case that USB port had something wrong with it and then I would try out the other one. And I didn't need to do that. So again, we're going to plug it back in the way it's supposed to be. With the blank square lining up with where there is no pin. And we're going to turn it on and find out if it works. Okay, so before I fire it up, I realized one thing. This one here that I thought was a USB is not. It is a COM or serial COM1 port, which if anybody out there knows what that's used for, let me know, because um, I honestly don't know what the heck it's for. Um, but I know it's not USB, which is, even though it allowed me to plug a USB into it, it definitely doesn't work. So at least it didn't cause any problems in the system, or motherboard, nothing like that. So I've had to relocate to the actual two USBs that I did have. So at least my USB ports and everything were going to work. I did a video earlier on how do you add USB uh, to your system when your motherboard just simply doesn't have it. So I've ordered one of those. I'll put a link in the description. So if you want to have a look at that. Um, so basically for now, this is our Bluetooth connector, basically from the card. 
So I don't need it. I can go without it. Half the time I never use it anyway. But I'll still have the wireless capability just because it's plugged in. So we are going to check. We're going to fire it up. Hopefully all the USB ports will now work and we'll be good to go. So give me one moment and we'll get to it. Okay, so the USB ports that did work were these ones, the USB 3.0, but the 2.0 did not work. So I'm gonna plug in my USB flash drive and see what happens. Okay, so heard that little beep indicating that it's automatically recognized the drive. So there we go. I'll show you this. So as you can see, the drive came up, USB drive F. So we're going to disconnect it from that. We're going to plug it into the 3.0. I mean, I didn't disconnect that, but we're just going to verify that it still works. So I'm going to take this out and put it in the other side. Always make sure when you take out your USB drives, do it the right way. And what I mean by that, go down where your little arrow is here, bring it up. Go here, right click and say eject. Whatever your USB drive is here, click eject. It'll tell you it's safe to remove, pop it out. Okay, if you don't do that, you risk losing data. So we're gonna put in to the other side here now. And you can hear that little noise, boop, 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 to indicate it's recognized the USB 3.0, Windows came up. So. Our USB drives on the case are now working, all of them, which for me is a huge thing. Um, but in order to get the Bluetooth working, that's the only thing I have left. And that means getting a um, USB hub that I'm going to put in. And this case is huge. So it gives me lots of room to put it right, to put it right beside where the power supply is. So that way I can just make sure it's secured there and everything will work and we're back to having a functioning system that i can do tests with and all that kind of good stuff all right everybody if you like that video hit that like hit that subscribe hit that bell for future notifications check out those affiliate links helps me out a ton make a donation if you feel fortunate and you really want to help out uh, everything goes back into the channel because uh, none of this stuff is cheap and yeah so i know it's a short video doesn't give a lot of uh in depth on anything for this one um, but the next video I'm hoping is going to be taking all these graphics cards I've got some that people say don't work um, or they had issues so we're going to try them each out see what happens and as we try them out we'll um, see if we can fix them if at all possible so stay tuned for that one and thanks for watching and donate if you feel you got to burn a hole in Apollo. Donate if you think you're burning a hole in that pocket. And you just need to do it somewhere else. I don't have